Fascinating. So, you know, we've been talking with some other folks that have been on the show, actually, how, you know, on one hand, you know, there's all this talk about Russia influencing the election in 2016, which it certainly did to some extent. But now we see China kind of in plain sight trying to influence the election by targeting specific regions where President Trump is vulnerable. Regions, industries, um, you look at the uh, Foxconn factory in Wisconsin, you look at the natural gas uh, agreement in West Virginia, each one of these are means for putting hooks into local politics in those regions or states. And then by then turning and saying, well, the president is making it very hard for us to continue these investments, many of which they never actually had any intention of ever, ever falling through with, then they can say, it's the president's fault that, that your economy is, is turning south. It's the president's fault that all these billions of dollars of promised investment aren't materializing. Never mind the fact that they usually never materialize, and you can go uh, look at many examples where China has agreed to have investments of billions of dollars that actually never happen. So I've been reading about the newest threat, which is uh, halting, you know, rare earth export, which right. is necessary. You know, rare earths are necessary for all sorts of key technologies we have. What do you make of this? Well, I think it's um, it's uh, it would be a terrible mistake on the part of the Chinese, and this is this is the problem. Uh, the Communist Party can't help itself. It finds itself. It believes itself to be under attack. In reality. What's happening is, for the first time, the American government is defending the American people and defending American companies in the international space. Chinese can't have that. They feel that it, it's by their right that they should have access to America's economy, to America's in, innovation, yeah. and that how dare we um, you know, defend that? How dare the American government defend that? And so it, it, instead of seeing it like it is, which is our really... Um, a bill, or our, our, our willingness or want to um, protect our own sovereignty, they see it as we're trying to um, essentially control the Chinese Communist Party or prevent China from growing anymore, which is absolutely incorrect. Nevertheless, they, their narrative to themselves is the United States is attacking us and therefore we must defend. Now, the way that I would defend if I were them is by opening up and reforming. But they can't do that because they, that means they, they lose some control. Therefore, they're going to squeeze tighter. If you think about it, it's almost like you put jello in your hand and you slowly start to squeeze. What happens to the jello? It comes out from between your fingers. What's happening is their tendency is, want, is to squeeze more and more. And as they squeeze more and more, they actually lose control. And so, um, I think their, their natural tendency is going to want to be to squeeze, and that looks like let's, um, let's prevent uh, rare earths from going to the United States. All that's going to do is going to force the United States to look at alternative means to rare earths. It's not going to help um, China's economy in any way. It's going to actually destroy the market for rare earths in China.